Both of Maine's U.S. Senators are calling on President Trump to consider reopening our border with Canada. Good evening, I'm Pat Callahan. And I'm Cindy Williams. Republican Susan Collins and Independent Angus King say it's time for the U.S. and Canada to reevaluate whether the border should stay closed to non-essential travelers to keep COVID-19 in check. Those restrictions were extended last month and they've taken a toll on small businesses and families who've gone months without seeing one another. But as New Center Maine's Zach Blanchard reports, not everyone is ready for the border to reopen. A new push to ease COVID travel restrictions at the U.S.-Canada border. Maine senators calling on the Trump administration to reconsider, saying in a letter, quote, they have put immense strain on the communities that straddle the border. It's emotional. Lorraine and John Mitchell from Callis are living it. It's emotional to see them on FaceTime and keep saying, well, we'll come see you as soon as we can. Like many, they went months without seeing their family, especially their grandkids in New Brunswick. <laughs> Until this. The couple was able to have a surprise reunion. It was, it was fun. It was emotional, extremely emotional for, for all of us. But even with dual citizenship, they had to rent a house and follow a strict 14-day quarantine to do so. We understand the rules and we abided by them. But for others, it's even worse. With any border town that has cross-border shopping, um, it has to be affecting um, pretty much everyone in some form of fashion. Local businesses like Tim Call's downtown jewelry store have been hit hard. Business is down as much as 40% without Canadian customers. It continues this way, it's, it's, it's not good. Maine's head of the Department of Health and Human Services saying in a press conference Thursday that the risk of transmission of COVID-19 across borders is in some cases low. There are certainly areas of Canada where they would not pose, travel to and from those places would not pose. Uh, the kind of risks that we have been worried about previously. For the Mitchells, they feel it's better to be safe than sorry, as a national border, an international pandemic, continues to stand between family and business. Now, those restrictions prohibiting all non-essential travel are in effect through October 21st. I'm Zach Blanchard, News Center, Maine.